We got to build together. Your creativity, my creativity, and I'm not talking about just musicians and, and actors and writers and things like that. Every business is a creative mind moving forward. We've got to come together and get this planet working again. When businesses are shutting their doors because they can't find enough people to work, something's wrong. And it's going to take the creative minds to get those people back to work. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I never know what I'm going to write about when I sit down each morning before the sun even comes up. Because I, I don't want to know what I'm going to write about. Because then that's where the perfectionist comes in and says, no, this is what we're going to do. This is what we have to do. And it's got to be shaped like this. And it doesn't sound like you. So we got to start all over, crumple up the paper, throw it away. Are you a perfectionist like that as well? Do you identify your creative spirit in that way? It's like, ah, it's, it's, it's not what, what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I'll quit and come back a different day. But I never know. I never know what I'm going to write about. But when the words do finally begin to flow, what is written about, you realize it's not about you at all. It's about everything around you. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. And what this subject is about is about a lot of things that's moving around every one of us in this present place of now. And whatever year you're in, whatever month, day, whatever the time is on the clock, you're probably going to be able to relate with this because it's about you taking steps forward. Rebuilding the paths of expectation. The idea of never saying no seems to be getting in the way of this thing called the new normal. Everything always feels like it's crashing into each other. And then we spend the rest of the day trying to start tomorrow when today hasn't even been lived out yet. This idea that we can do it all is very tiresome. But what if we could do it all? And if so, how can we do it all? Our paths feel like they're faded and they're torn. Where is the beginning, the middle, and the end? And where is it acceptable to give only a moment to what was once the entire process? We have become a mixture of several defeats. And the question is, how can we repair if all that's been offered to any of us is another ill-fated journey? Where do we get to find the personal victories? Are we looking in the wrong places? Doesn't that make the present just another addiction? It's too difficult to change because the challenges have always been perseverance. We're not weak in the soul. We just can't see the goal. We are blinded by what we have labeled defeat. How do we get from this to this without this in the middle messing things up? I just spent some time with Marco from the group POD. Oh, we talked about those moments of the lockdown of COVID-19 and what it's like to be out there on that road and how in a, at a moment's notice, it can all change. And everything that you were working for is gone. Now, on a personal level, things have been canceled on my tour. And you just sit there and you go, how can we get beyond this? Why is it that we, we, we build up this, this stage and then all of a sudden, woof, it's gone. It's like a mirage on a highway. We used to chase those things up there in Montana on a hot summer day. My father used to get our attention and say, look, there it is. We're going to reach it this time. Oof. It was gone. Rebuilding the paths of expectation. The idea of never saying no seems to be getting in the way of the new normal. My wife retired a couple of weeks ago. She's earned that honor. She's been a teacher for over 35 years. She's earned it. But right now, she can't say no to all these other people that want her services. I don't know why. But as a student of life, I'm going to find out. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.